The following content may contain elements not suitable for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. How I self relax. <laughs> Hey beauties! So the preparation for relaxing your hair actually starts about three days to a week before the actual relaxer day. What I do a week before relaxing my hair is to clarify my hair so as to remove any buildup so that the relaxer would actually take properly. I also do a heavy protein treatment to get my hair nice and strong for the evil relaxer. I'm joking, just joking. <laughs> but yeah, I do do a heavy protein treatment. On the relaxer day, it is very important to be very organized and to have everything on hand. I'll have a list of all the products I use on my relaxer day down in the description box. And you'll also see a couple of other minor products throughout the video. Okay, so the first thing I do is to separate my hair into four sections using my fingers. And then with each section, I finger detangle the hair and give it a twist. After I've finished gently detangling all the sections of hair, I am going to use my applicator brush tip, but use a rat tail comb if you have a rat tail comb, I still can't find mine. And I'm going to separate a half inch section of hair The section of hair doesn't have to be neat or anything, neither does it have to be precise. Now I'm going to use my petroleum based oil and apply it to my already relaxed hair. This is because petroleum is a synthetic oil and what it's going to do is just sit on the hair and prevent the relaxer from penetrating and over processing my hair. So in the event that I accidentally get the relaxer on my already relaxed hair while applying the relaxer, it won't cause any over processing or damage to my hair. Or even when I'm washing out the relaxer, it won't cause any over processing as well. And trust and believe, this is a key step in keeping the thickness of your hair. Yeah, I was excited. <laughs> So the thing about me is I'm all about efficiency and using the applicator brush was just taking me way too long. So I washed my hands just to get all the oil off my fingers and I started to separate the hair, the same half inch section of hair using my fingers and I just twist the hair right away. I made sure to wash all the petroleum off my hands before touching my new growth because getting the petroleum on my new growth would prevent the relaxer from taking properly. And after I've finished twisting that last section of hair in that quadrant, I'm going to take a large gulp of the petroleum oil and I'm just going to apply it all on my relaxed ends in that section that is. Now I'm going to clip that section out of the way and do the exact same thing to all the other sections. All right, so this is it now. Do not play with chemicals. I'm going to be putting on my latex gloves right now to protect my hands from the relaxer. Then I am going to base my hairline with the same petroleum oil I was using before. If you find that you get burnt easily, this is the time that you would actually base your scalp. But I don't base my scalp because I'm head tough and I've never gotten burned before. On the back of your relaxer, you'll find how much time you must leave your relaxer on for. I personally leave my relaxer on for 35 minutes and I'm going to set my stopwatch right now. I use a stopwatch because I have nervous issues and to see the time counting down, I will just start freaking out. So it's better for me to see the stopwatch increasing in time so I just have an idea in my head how much time I have left. I decided against the applicator brush. <laughs> yeah, and fingers just work better. 
so i'm going to take the relaxer and put it at the tip of my finger and apply it about a quarter inch away from my scalp I'm applying it about a quarter inch away from my scalp because the hair closest to my scalp is going to process much faster than the hair further away from my scalp because of my natural body heat. To get my hair as straight as I want it, I'm going to be going over my hair twice with the relaxo. This will be the first time and the second time will be smoothing. And that first quadrant only took 2 minutes and 22 seconds. And that's the true beauty of this method, you know, you can get to apply the relaxer so quickly. All you have to do is just lift up the sections you already created and apply the relaxer. And for the persons who prefer to text lax the hair, all they have to do is apply the relaxer as close to the scalp as possible from this stage of the game. All four sections complete in 12 minutes and 58 seconds. Now it's time for my favorite part, smoothing. And this is just the same thing as before, but I'm going to be applying the relaxer as close to the scalp as possible. So I'm just going to be lifting up each section I previously made, and I'm going to be applying the relaxer and rubbing and smoothing it onto the hair. Smoothing is an important step in getting the hair straight. If you just allow the relaxer to just sit on the hair, all it will do is make the hair stay curly, but have a crunchy feeling to it. Ideally, you don't really want the relaxer to be touching your scalp exactly, but for me, I find that really hard to accomplish. And I'm completely finished in 31 minutes and 43 seconds. <laughs> so a piece of advice for persons who have bleach in their hair, try and make sure not to put the cream over the bleached hair. But the petroleum going block those sections that you don't want to process, so don't worry. The next and final step is to shampoo your hair with a neutralizing shampoo so as to stop the chemical from processing. After shampooing my hair about 5-6 to six times, I deep condition with a heavy protein deep conditioner. Then I followed up with a moisture rinse out conditioner. And after towel drying my hair, this is how it turned out. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that I did a rinse but I didn't bother to film that. I'll show that in a different video but uh, it processed really well the hair came out straight you can see a little texture there but minimal and that's fine adds to the thickness of the hair and the tutorial on how I relax my hair is basically over all I'm going to be doing now is uh, apply my leave-ins seal that in and style and styling option is all up to you. You can roll or set your hair, you can leave it to air dry, you can flex your rod, whatever you want to do with your hair afterwards. But one thing though, I like to ensure that all the products I use after relaxing my hair are protein based and also pH balanced. This is because the relaxer actually breaks down the protein in your hair and makes your hair weaker in order to straighten it. And all relaxers are actually alkaline. So that is why I like to use those kind of products. Just to put back whatever is, was lost or taken away from my hair. And my style of choice was to air dry my hair to about 80% and then to blow dry my hair. I decided to wait until school started back to actually flat iron my hair and do my length check. So you can expect that video in a couple of weeks. All the products I use in the styling process will be listed down in the description box. If I left out anything or you have any questions to ask, be sure to ask that in the comment section and I'll answer you as soon as possible. Be sure to give me a thumbs up to let me know that this video was helpful. As always, thank you guys for watching. Later beauties! Mwah. Girl, you're filming. Take that sweetie out of your mouth. Oh, well, Viviana. Ratchet. Just ratchet. This hairstyle may actually turn out like really gorgeous and it might be my favorite curls ever. Or it could be an absolute fail. And then I will turn this into a whole lesson thing and I'll show you how I fix a really bad hairstyle. <laughs>